What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Dave Dave, coming at you with a new video series that I'm going to do. There's this game out there called Raid Shadow Legends. Uh, a lot of people spend a lot of money on this game to get good. And I've always wanted to try my hand at doing a free-to-play series on it. Showing people that it can be done with, with no money spent. Um, so... I'm not gonna like show all the like campaign farming and stuff like that and hey, Dylan, playthroughs like like that, but I'll show you guys like videos like this where we just go through a little bit of the content and give you guys updates and stuff, none of the boring stuff in between, unless you guys wanna see that. So I think, It's not uh, automatic on this game, I guess. Probably for the summons and stuff. I'm going to probably keep all the summons. Unless there's an event going on. Other than that, I'll just get monsters from mystery shards campaign uh, drops and stuff it's a pretty fun game uh, this is the only probably going to be the only account that I focus on the other ones are kind of, I mean you can get to the point where you're almost addicted to the game but I don't have enough time to be playing the game all the time so I'll play it when I can and do updates and stuff but right here is just the tutorial basically how to tag and stuff if you guys want to download it you can the dragon must have been like the maximum level you can get uh, I thought these that's Arbiter Apparently she's a good champ. I'm definitely probably not going to get too many um, legendaries. That's to be expected. There's an event now for a champion called um, Alexander. So that's probably going to be one of the only ones I get. Well, I'm going <laughs> to... Of course, I chose Kale. Kale's like um, the best starter to go with, everybody says. And it's true. So that's what I went with. And he's going to help me in the clan boss. He's going to help me in all sorts of content. So this, is, this one's not. I'm letting in. Well, maybe. Maybe that'll be one that I utilize. Because I'm going to have to use it on commons. A lot of rare champions. I'm definitely not going to use... Um, certain blue champions that are just horrible. Uh, one, for example... Is the lizard dude that drops on the second account. Uh, Conqueror. Definitely going to utilize that. Probably make. Build out a couple of them. To play against uh, Ice Golem. Because it. It purges like the. The little Golemites or whatever. On the sides. So that it can't come back. And then Valerie. She's a good one to use too. That I'll be definitely using once once they drop from my farming and stuff it's only a matter of time uh, definitely the first goal is to get Kale six starred maxed out he'll definitely be here was 
what I'm gonna do. Then I'm gonna two times this and put it on auto. I'm not really uh, some some things you can't play auto on, but this this is definitely one of the things you can play auto on unless you're at a higher level, like if you're on nightmare mood or you know the highest difficulty. That's definitely a time where you're gonna have to you you know use that. Uh, I'm definitely going to be getting probably like a phone holder so it doesn't keep moving back and forth. Sorry about that. I just like this game and I wanted to get started on the playthrough as soon as I can. Definitely gonna set up a little area so I can play games and do videos and stuff. Um, Where's the cursor? There it is. The cursor is so tiny I can't even see it. Anyway, this is where you can view champions. Each champion can equip up to six artifacts. Select the artifact and equip your champion. Definitely, I mean, this artifact's not going to stay on this champion. Because it's only one star. And the one star artifacts just suck. I believe you're ready. Return to K-Rock Castle and, you know, fight through his banner lords and fight him. Well, it's basically, I think you gotta play through the whole K-Rock Castle to, uh, proceed in the storyline and stuff. So, yeah, I'm not gonna spend any money on this game. What I get is what I get. Um. I'm not sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends by any means. Probably, I don't know if I ever will be. Uh, that's not even the goal of mine. The goal of mine for this playthrough is just to have fun and use champions that other people look over and show that it's easy to beat this game and you don't have to spend money on it in order to have fun. Oh, I'm already level two. These lower levels, I don't need to collect the energy potions. Um, I'll wait till I, I get higher level and uh, it gets harder to level up. And that way, I have more energy to use. It's going to make me ever upgrade this. There's no way out of it. Because it's part of the tutorial. Otherwise, I would not upgrade it. Yeah, I figured I'd, I'd play it on the computer because it's easier. Computer battery lasts longer. And it frees up my phone for other activities. So... This stuff can go on my, uh, <laughs> definitely going to use Alexander, but, I mean, there's not going to be a lot of times that I can use him against Alexander, but, or use him against orcs and ogres, clear stage seven of Karak Castle, this will definitely be one of my focuses this is day one as you can see I'll be getting these guys well they'll definitely come in handy uh, as Davis progress I'll probably do a video each day um, probably at the reset which I'm not sure when the reset is. Let me check real quick. It says I got free rewards available. 23 hours and 45 minutes from now. So it's <laughs> going to be a while. Anyway.
definitely gonna use or do all these every day to get that extra 10 gems because I'm gonna unlock the mine as soon as I can free gifts are always good for a free to play player <laughs> so yes that would be excellent I don't know why this is up here it says free rewards available oh here we go oh yeah uh, these I'll probably only hang on to them for when my guy gets to 60 which is the max level summon the magic champion cool so what can I do here I'll probably join a clan I'm not gonna make a clan because I don't you know because I don't know very many people that want to play the game and they want to do a clan so let's see what I can get if I can get anything lucky in these uh, what I can do is each episode I can save my mystery shards for for a little summoning uh, this fusion <laughs> there is no way on earth that I'm going to get this fusion done um, I'm not even anywhere near I don't even have the capability to do this fusion so I, it's sad to miss out on that because he's a cool looking guy but but it's what it is I'm probably going to you know when I get coin and when I get uh, I'm sorry when I get uh, silver gems the gems are going to go to the mine to get that unlocked first because that's just gonna give me more more gems and more gems equal more champions I could get so and maybe I'll be able to you know get a fusion done in the future and for this account and we'll see where we can come up so I'm probably gonna do some more of this. Get get through Kerak Castle. It'll be cool for today. Yeah, my setup is I'm not I'm not officially set up yet. I gotta rearrange some stuff, clean some stuff out, and just set up a little little area that I can play this game comfortably where I can enjoy it because that's that's the, what usually games are for is entertainment you know and this is what this is entertainment ooh another mystery shard so that'll be good so I don't know if anybody else plays this game Probably none of the people that are subscribed to me. Uh, I'll try to make it, you know, a little more fun, entertaining. If you guys don't like it, well, well boo-hoo. Cry me river, you know. This is my YouTube channel. I can do what I want. <laughs> anyway. I just like this game because it's like, you know. Well, first, it's, it's challenging to figure out strategies to beat levels and other players in the arena and I'm leveling up pretty fast to start which is usually the case um, yeah we'll see where this this goes this playthrough um, and if it you know I don't care if it, if it takes off it takes off it don't it don't at least I'm having fun with it. So, Kale, definitely good. Uh, this archer lady, definitely gonna have to keep her uh, going. Cause I think she's good. I'm pretty sure she's good. 
well for me she's been <laughs> let's look at well I could look at her kit look at Kale's kit Dark Bolt takes one enemy has an 80% 80, 80 chance of placing a 2.5 poison debuff for two turns damage based on attack so poison it's always good attacks all enemies fills the third minute of this champion by 25% for each enemy kill so I'm gonna have to build him with a crit rate attack and attacks four times at random has a 40% chance of placing a 5% poison debuff for two turns and that goes up to 50% that makes it a four turn cooldown or cooldown and it increases all oh, HP need that old spec 15% so that's good nice all that already definitely gonna need that double strike attacks one enemy two times has an extra 15% chance of inflicting critical hit Fills this champ's turn meter by 15% on each critical hit. So, and it's on its A1, which doesn't have a cooldown. So if I build her with 100% crit rate and crit damage attack, so she's going to be getting a lot of turns and doing a lot of attacks. And then attacks all enemies two times. Has a 10% chance of placing a 15% decrease speed debuff for one turn. So that's great. Definitely going to be helpful because it's an AoE attack. So it's going to be helpful in like spider and stuff. So. Oh. Uh, another chance at a champion. And there's boosted summon summons now. I think there's a boost in something on the mystery shard too. So, anyway, maybe I'll do a summons at the close. Like I said, I'm probably gonna do like some of the campaign off screen. Uh, and then do like a like a video every night. Like yeah. Because otherwise it's going to be like hour long videos and I don't like, I don't even like to watch hour long videos most of the time. Oh, so. Oh, she got down. Well, she doesn't have any gear on her anyway, so that's part of the reason why. It's gonna be fun to, to see how far I can come. I'm definitely going to. My main goal is gonna get, put Kale to six star. So other characters like that Archer girl, she probably won't go past three stars um, for a while. Takes one enemy two times. Takes one enemy with one random ally. The ally joining attack uses their default skill. So, Crusader with that archer. That's a sick combo. So, yes. Going to be using that. There's some other uncommon champs that I'm going to have to build out and use. Uh, shield Guard's probably going to be one of them. Oh, there's another one I forget the name of. I'll show you when I get, if I get them. Because it's probably going to be a while before I can get more rare champions to fill out my team. 
It would be nice if I got one early, but probably not going to happen. I'm going to show you what I do with each of them and what, what gear I try to put on them. Because they're all going to need different gear to be set up to do different things and stuff. Um, so, especially if I'm going to ever see like the Silver Champion League for the arena. It's going to be a need. Um, I think you need silver to get through some of the the quests. I'm not done with my video. <laughs> not done with my video yet. That's why I came upstairs so I could do my video because everybody's talking. Holy cow, those dogs are going off like a firecracker. What in the freaking heck? Holy moly smolies. What in the world? Uh, there's a... Part of this game, I'm not, you know... I don't pay attention to, them, to it too much. Some of the... Ladies are uh, scantily clad, if I do say so. Uh, some of them like to wear bikinis or whatever, but that's their choice, I guess. But that's probably one of the draws of the game, to be honest, but I just like to... You get to fight freaking giant beasts and stuff in this. It's like a medieval video game and when it's on auto you don't all you gotta do is click and watch the fight let's see if I, even if i could do this i might not be able to no that boss is a bar is oh. la attack nice I might be able to do this. Here we go. And he's down. So. The storyline plays through every time stuff happens, but. Ooh. Level 7, and I just got. War Priest. Definitely gonna use that. Awesome. Another rare champ. And I got a whole bunch of gear. That's freaking crazy. So, to end this video, let's do a little summon. Get out of here. I ain't spending money. Get out of here. Let's see what I can get. I have a feeling it's going to be a lot of these commons, which none of them are basically good. I mean, there might be, I think Sister Militant has an AOE attack, but that's it. Speaking of Sister Militant. <laughs> Yeah, she's only got an A or the E attack. I mean, I can do that. It's only going to cost four of her. Probably, yeah, I can do that. It's going to be helpful. She's squishy, though. Death Knight might be another option, too. Takes one enemy as it. Well, I don't know. 30%. Chance of counter attack when hit. Mm. That'd be an option. And for the final summon of the night. Very kind.
coming. Yep, that'll do it, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you tomorrow.